what is going on guys in this video I'm going to show you how to build an XP farm in Minecraft and as you can see this is in our survivor world me and my friend have um, so as you can see right here you got the mob and I can get my XP right here as well as their items of course you got your skeletons your uh, creepers uh, zombies and all that of course they drop you know yeah gunpowder they drop they drop arrows bows enchanted bows enchanted armor sometimes so you're just getting plenty of stuff as well as the xp and this can be a good way and good tool to build your XP farm as far as for enchanting and everything later in survival of course um i'm going to be showing you exactly step by step how to do that so what you're going to need we're going to jump over here to creative you're going to need 22 stacks of 64 cobblestone you're going to need one full stack of trap doors you're going to need four hoppers four chests 100 scaffolding, some glass, and then four uh, stone slabs. And you are going to need eight buckets of water. Very important. So, as you can see right here, you're going to place your uh, hoppers. You're going to place them over the chest. That way, that if anything falls out um, as the mobs die, uh, you can collect them in the hoppers. Um, and after everything fills up, of course, that can go in the chest afterwards. Now, it's important to turn them uh, directly towards the chest or, like, below it. So, yeah, this may take a few times. You may have to, like, crouch and then place them. It, it is a little tricky at first placing the, the hoppers. Once the hoppers are done, though, we've got the gist of it, you know. So, you're going to place, um, you're going to push two two cobblestones right here. And then you're going to place the one on the side. You're going to place your slabs, all four, over the hoppers. And then now you're ready for your wall. So... For your wall, you want to go, once you hit the, uh, right here, the corner of the slabs, you want to go 22 up. So right there, take that one out. Now you want to go 22 straight up after you make your little square around your base. So now 22 up. Once 22 up and you're finished with that, we're going, I'll go with your next step. But it, it takes a minute to go ahead and, uh, you know, build your 22 up. It will take a little while, I will say. I will make sure you got an efficiency uh, diamond pickaxe or an iron pickaxe to go and get your cobblestone, especially if you're playing in survival. Once you've done that, you're going to build these uh, structures right here. You're uh, eight feet long, so or eight blocks, eight feet, eight blocks long. You're going to go out uh, to the ends with the eight blocks, and then you're going to build a two block wall around them. So once you've gotten those all eight, you've got your two walls here, your walls, again, two blocks high. You're going to make sure the water hits exactly to the very end. So if it, you didn't quite get it, of course, build your little extra block. You will place two buckets of water. That's why I said you need eight, and you want the water to come out exactly to the last block. This will push the mobs off into, of course, no, they'll, they'll uh, fall down to the hole, and then you can just, you know, of course, sit there and farm your XP and or get you know loot as well I've, we've had some zombies and stuff like that drop you know enchanted uh helmets enchanted chest plates and stuff like that enchanted bows as well so you want it all to come out to the exact last block again if you did too many or too less you can always fix that right now and then you place your buckets of water again eight buckets of water all right guys once you've done that you're going to put your trap doors all the way on the tops of these right here uh, make sure they are in line with each other and then of course you're going to flip those down for your trap doors that way everything will fall into the water after it spawns all your mobs that way you can get your xp so you're going to put them on both sides so you have to put your cobblestone right here um as you can see it's it's a little frustrating to do it first even in creative so as you can imagine it was pretty frustrating to do it in survival like i said you want to make sure you have plenty of materials again 22 stacks of 64 cobblestone is going to be your biggest and a hundred scaffolding now the hundred scaffolding is kind of you don't actually have to do it i just recommend doing it that way you can get a good spawn portion up for mobs and stuff like that um but i'll show you what i mean guys at the end of the video for that but again you're gonna put your trap doors all the way around here and make sure they're closed um make sure they go down i have these going up in the video um make sure they actually go down uh in the one we have in our survival world we have them going down so make sure they're going down not up like i've done here but you get the idea you're just wanting to place these trap doors so that all the mobs fall into the fall into the water and the water of course shoots them down so you can collect your xp or anything they might drop 
Once that's done, you've got basically the basics done. We're gonna jump over here. Now you're gonna go ahead and build your roof. So just go ahead and case it. Again, two blocks high for that. And then a roo your roof is gonna be on the third block. So once that's done, again, make sure your wall is two blocks high. Where all the mobs can spawn in in there and they can be funneled down to a single point. So then you're gonna go ahead and build your roof here. Once that's encased and you have all that done, make sure you get a bunch of torches and place them on top. Um, you don't want mobs spawning on top, you want them spawning inside. Okay, once we've done that, um, it doesn't look too pretty here in the survive, uh, in a creative world. Um, uh, it, it doesn't have to look, you know, perfect. We just want it to, uh, of course, this is our XP farm. So once that's done, um, you're going to go here and go into the middle. Go ahead and place your scaffolding all the way up. And again, it doesn't have to quite be 100. It can be like in the range of like 50 of them. I would at least use a good 50. And you're going to go sit at the very, very top. Go FK for about 5 minutes or so is what I did. 5, 10 minutes. Like literally just leave the game on. Go do, you know, whatever you want to do in between that time. And sit there and let your mobs spawn. Again, put I would recommend putting glass around you. Um, that's what I did when I was playing in survival. Just put glass around you so you don't fall or nothing comes, you know, comes to smack you off or anything like that. And that way you can just sit there and wait for your mobs to spawn. Once your mobs, uh, or after the 5 or 10 minutes is up, your mobs should spawn at the bottom. You can go down and collect your XP and then so forth. Continue to do this all throughout your survival world. Guys, this is how you built an XP farm. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.